Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be painting on pencil cases. I saw these pencil cases online and I just had to buy them because they are this sort of canvasy material that is perfect to customize. And I also have these paint pens here, which are kind of perfect for customizing things. If you're wondering where I found them, I actually got them off eBay. Just search like DIY pencil case. It'll probably show up. This is actually something that I have been wanting to do for a while now and I am excited. So let's dive into it. So the paint pens I'm using today are actually my Artistro paint pens. I've used them quite a bit in my videos. And here are the little pencil cases and I just think that they're so cute and they're really a nice size too to add like pencils and stuff. They're not too big so you can like carry them around uh, when you travel and stuff like that. And I have eight pencil cases here which I'm going to be painting on today. Now it did come as a 10 pack but two of them were defective so I decided to leave them out. Now before I actually paint on them I am going to actually add a piece of cardboard inside here just in case the paint uh, leaks through. I don't want it to like leak through to the other side so that's gonna protect it nicely so for the first one I was actually thinking about an old artwork that I made a while ago and I think I called it like cat among the pumpkins or something like that it was this um like cat that was like a block like black color and it was jumping off these pumpkins and I actually really like that artwork and I kind of wanted to revisit it a little bit because it's getting close to Halloween now and so I'm drawing some pumpkins here and a black cat. I sketched lightly with pencil first and I didn't need to go too crazy in the sketch because it was quite a simple illustration and for the coloring the pens actually worked really nice on this if you like colored lightly you got this sort of nice like fabric texture and if you wanted to like layer it up a little bit you can get like a more of a blocky texture as well and for the colors I kept them mostly oranges and sort of like fall colors because obviously this is like a like a Halloween-y kind of style video and of course we have that black cat here which I decided to color in pretty much purely black other than some yellow for its eyes and a little bit of white just to distinguish its front legs as well. I decided not to add in the nose or mouth or anything like that because I wanted this to be quite a simple illustration and I feel like it works really well. Look at his white eyes. So for the next one I kind of wanted to do a similar illustration however the seasons are flipped so instead of a fall sort of style like cat artwork I decided to go with a spring cat artwork and of course I decided to add in a sunflower just because it is my favorite type of flower but we also have a vase here with some other flowers in it and a very naughty cat staring at you with its wide eyes with its little paw on the vase as if it's going to tip it over because you know cats are going to be cats. I like this artwork I think it's cute and colorful. So for the next artwork I decided to continue on that naturey sort of uh, vibe and I decided to draw a frog along with some mushrooms and I really wanted to add in a sort of mushroom artwork into this just because I think they're really cute and I wanted to draw some sort of spotty toadstools here and then I had the cool idea to make the frog also spotty and have him like looking sideways towards the mushrooms almost as if he thinks they're other frogs because they're spotty as well and he's sort of smiling at them and I just thought that that was a, a sort of funny cute style illustration. It's kind of funny but it's also kind of sweet too. I also decided to give this one just some subtle outlines compared to the last one just because I felt like it could benefit a bit from that. So here is this pencil case and I honestly think it's cute and sweet. So for this next pencil case I decided to go with a slightly different theme. We had some sort of nature ones and I wanted to see if I could draw some sort of 
galaxy slash space <laughs> as aesthetic and honestly I really like it it is quite a bit more cartoony than my usual space art but I really like the sort of like cartoon shaped stars and of course I had to add a sort of Jupiter-esque planet in there because it just looks so cool and then I had the idea to draw in a little uh, alien cat as you can see in the corner there it's green I just think it's so cute and I just kind of had to keep adding cats into this and then I felt like a white outline would improve this quite a bit and honestly I really like this one So for this next one I kind of wanted to do another pencil case that hinted back to an old artwork and I decided on a sketch that I did in my sketchbook of a little tea set. Now with this tea set I sort of drew them with um, geometrical patterns and like each piece had a few colours that sort of suited each other so I decided to continue on that theme but I did simplify it just a little bit with just a teapot, a teacup, a spoon and later on I also drew some um, sugar cubes in there. After I did the main colours I went in and I added a bit of a black outline around the teapot and the teacup there just to sort of enhance their silhouette a little bit and just to solidify them a bit and honestly I really like this one I think it's quite cute and I decided to write tea time on it as well just to add a little bit of um, just a bit more detail and I really like this one so for this next one I really wanted to expand a little bit on the sort of autumn -y fall kind of uh, theme because I really really loved the cat one that I did with the pumpkins and I just wanted more like that because that one was kind of my favorite so far so I decided to draw a bunch of sort of autumn slash fall themed items on here so we have a little pumpkin and I wrote fall vibes only and then I added like a little mushroom a leaf a cup of hot chocolate and I also drew a scarf as well as a beanie and honestly all of the colors in here with all of the um the bright oranges and uh browns and then like subtle hints to green I just think that this one's really really cute and I love the the sort of color theme and just the total vibe of this one So I kept going back to all of the naturey themed ones and I just liked them the most so I decided to expand on that and make one where I drew a whole bunch of different leaves. So as you can see here we have a yellow leaf and then I added a nice little ferny style leaf here and then I went back to the yellow leaf and I added some orange veins into it and then I tried to draw a monstera sort of style leaf. It didn't turn out perfect but honestly I really like it. And then after that I added in some reddish brown leaves as well just because I wanted a little bit more contrast and some darker leaves would really help. And then after this I added in some subtle uh, pinkish flowers around just to add a little pop of colour and honestly I think that this one is really cute. It's simple but really cute. I seem to be drawing a lot of nature themed ones lately. <laughs> I like it. So for this next one I decided to go back to the cats because I drew a lot of cats in my earlier ones and I just really wanted to get a lot of cats out. So I decided to draw cats all over this pencil case here. We have a black one hanging from the ceiling, we have an orange one, a white one, we have a cream sort of coloured one which is like arching its back and I think that that's really funny. I decided to add some patterns to some of them just because I wanted you know more detail in here and after that I also drew in some little paw prints in the empty space and I just think that that's so funny and it adds to the sort of chaotic feel of this artwork here and I love how all of them have these just sort of blank staring eyes I think it's sort of unsettling and kind of funny it's like they're watching you judging you after this it was time to heat set the paint so that it would stay on the fabric and I'm just using my heat gun here for that and overall I had a lot of fun painting these I love the results and I just think that they all look super cute and they kind of suit each other as well 
Let me know in the comments below which one of these is your favorite. I'm still gonna have to say that the fall uh, one with the cat in it is just my favorite because I don't know, it just turned out so well. And I also love the teapot one. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, hit like and subscribe and uh, comment below as well. It really helps me out and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Please stay safe out there and I shall see you in my next video. Bye everyone.